a question a question I have for you is like when it comes to this story, it's probably a little bit different than what we were just talking about. But there also mm-hmm. is a a class structure inside this world. Yes. Why why did you why did you decide to put a, a class structure in a world that has immortality inside of it and has uh, no has like pregnancy sort of outlawed inside of it? Because they when when the story started, my when I first wrote the, the first draft of the first issue, it pretty much was just pure backstory and didn't hit the story very well. But it was explained that over it became so horribly overpopulated so fast because without people dying, the population just increased on this exponential rate. So the government stepped in quickly and limited births and essentially they allow 12 births a year in this particular city this you know we haven't seen beyond the city yet and eventually the series will lead out of the city and we'll see what the rest of the world looks like but in this city they're regulating everything really heavily and it leads into the people if they are found pregnant they have to find a way to get rid of the baby without actually being noticed by the the guards that are constantly roaming. And it led to just kind of the thought in my mind was, what would the government do if we started to have this exponential growth of population? Of course, they'd step in and try to regulate it. And what, how would they enforce it? So I thought, you know, in this, in this world, everything's extreme. So they would enforce it with the most extreme measures. And it leads to this class system where half the population is just underground in whatever little abandoned subways they could find. Some are peaceful villages, some are just overrun with cannibalism and gangs and just terrible situations. So what would that class structure be? And it's almost like, okay, here's the top. You don't go there. This You're forbidden to go there. Kind of, you know, that's your border. Don't cross it. And it leads to this world of the, peop- the haves and the have-nots. And the people on the surface, they're not living in this uh, this amazing situation, but they still, like, they'll see themselves as vastly superior to anyone who's not there. Okay. And that's why the, they call all the people who live underground, oh, the cockroaches. They're, right. They look at them with, with disdain and have no respect for anyone simply because they don't live on the surface. 